Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again. Now today's video is the result of a, an inquiry from a fellow uh, YouTube creator, uh, Mr Crispin in the UK. Um, he's got a very good channel. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to it in the, in the description below. Um, about five, he's, he's building a five inch gauge uh, logo and about five years back um, he needed to, he, he wasn't buying, he wasn't buying the casting for the, uh, for the cylinders, he was actually machining it out of solid steel. Um, I was saying about five years back um, he, he needed to do some rotary milling, now he hadn't done any before so I offered to, uh, to do a, a trial run this end, it was, it was only a mock up in, in uh, using, using wood. Um, but you know, but I, I set the thing up, you know, with the with the molder and the and the uh, divided head and, and the cutter, and, and, and away we go, away we went. I um, took copious um, amounts of uh, photographs of things, and I sent him, I sent those to him, and and, um, and some instructions of, of, of how I done it, and 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 the way he went. Now, as you'll see in his video, should you decide to to watch it. Um, but he, 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 using standard end mills, I never realised at, at, at the time that it would cause a problem. But but uh, but um, end mills and uh, two flute slot drills are not flat on the bottom. Um, they're, they're 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 hollow. So of course, when you're machining a um, uh, a, a circumference uh, on a milling machine, um, the, the 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 only cutting action is is the is the outer edge of the end mill. So of course it it it, le it left sort of bumps all over the, uh, all over it. So um, you know, and I suggested at the time, well, you know, why don't why don't you um, uh, grind up a, a flat bottomed uh, end mill? And he said, oh, we he, he would get round to, uh, to to trying it one day. Well, I say his request was. Um, you know, would I like to do the, the setup and showing it with a standard end mill and also with a uh, especially ground uh, flat end mill so, so we can actually see what the difference is so, so that's what we intend to do um, so I think this is enough natter now we'll go outside to the workshop where I've got it set up and um, uh, do the demonstration and, and see what results we get so join me outside at the machine Bye. Uh, so what you're seeing here now is, is a piece of uh, aluminium or aluminium as you Americans call it um, set up in a dividing head and this is a standard um, two flute slot drill and I'm going to uh, at this moment just to, just to try and illustrate if I, if I can carefully just, just put a very slight so we just touch on there and I'm hoping just to show you just by spinning this round Yes, that seems, that seems to have shown up. Um, but if, and if I wind that round a bit, you can actually you can actually see that the that the um, that it's only touched on the outside edges. So of course, imagine if you're milling that all the way around. That is why you tend to get the you get a bump. Um, so what I'm actually going to do now is is I intend to do to uh, a double width double width um, mill. Uh, quarter of the way around the circumference of this of this um, of this bit so what we'll do is we shall start it or oh, doesn't, doesn't doesn't matter where I start let's uh, give a bit of now I wonder if we will we be better with the light on let's try the light on mm, no that's not very good is it let's try opening the door a little bit That's that's better. All right, sorry I stopped it there. We had a lot of children making a noise outside, and that's that's what we could do without. Um, right, so as I said, I'm I'm, I'm now going to attempt a, uh, a cut. So I'll put a uh, put a cut on of uh, suitable. I've got, 
นาเตวะสุขชาอัสุขชาใส่มอยมอยพ่อเอสซอมเอสซอมแรงนะครับเวอร์เอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาก
I'm not, I'm not trying really. Certainly, is a difference. Now we, now we, now we got some uh, little marks in the middle. I, I, I think that might be, um, might be my my grinding. I'm, I'm, I'm only an amateur of um, <coughs> a cutter grinder, so I think that might be just a little that little swirly mark there is is probably because I haven't quite um, got it right. But uh, as we can see, it's uh, it's it's a it's a uh, vast improvement on the um, on the other one. And if I get my um, let's move this out of the way. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Um, put a straight edge on there. Oh yeah, lovely jubbly. Yeah, it's very yeah, uh, and it, and it, and it, and it, it's, it's, it, it, it there's, there's, there's a little tiny um, this this swirly marks a bit uh, a bit nasty, but uh, but certainly uh, you know compared to compared to this one, it's uh, it's it's a world of difference. So I think it's definitely worth. Uh, worth the effort of doing it so there we are um crispin i hope that's uh, a little proof for you and we'll um conclude this little bit now and uh go in and have a bit of a chat about it and catch you soon bye so there we are then crispin i hope that's uh, answered your question yes a flat bottomed uh m mill um certainly does the job now as i say like i, I said earlier um I'm not a professional sharpener, so I, I reckon if you if you can get a professionally sharpened one, um, all should be well. Um, so to everybody else, um, what I'll do is I'll I will put a uh, a link in the description below to the the bit where uh, Christian is actually machining his um, uh, cylinder block, so that you can actually you know see the the problems that he encountered, but. Uh, other than that, now the other thing is that it, it, you see now why when when I in my previous video of, of um, uh, milling eccentric, that's why that uh, you know after I'd been all the way round uh, with the uh, cutter position roughly on centre, um, I actually moved the moved it so that the extremity of the of the uh, end mill um, actually then machined it and 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 made it flat and parallel. Otherwise, you know it, it would have been been hopeless it would have, it would have been all bumpy um, so I hope you like that um, just just a little something different for you to um, pass away the time uh, as, as per usual thanks again for watching uh, please subscribe ring the bell click the like send me a comment and until um, you see me yet again with another video wherever you are in the world please stay safe well and happy and catch you on the next video. Oh, by the way, there will be a few uh, stills at the end. Catch you next time. Bye.